Hi, New Hope. I hope you're doing well. I understand how people can get depressed. I find if I let my mind take me certain places, depression or, or something resembling it is not far behind. If we dwell in the dark places, our minds become dark places. Even biblical heroes let some of those voices from the dark, dark places sneak into their thinking. Job was not the ideal proponent of positive thinking when he said, man that is born of woman is a few days and full of trouble. And David acknowledged he was subject to an internal dialogue that, that was about as far from making a positive confession as the North is from the South. I was born in the South and I'm living in the North, so I know what I'm talking about. He spoke painfully of his soul being cast down and depressed. I just got a call from a, a dear, dear lady who was in the first church I pastored. Esther and her family were the only black family we had in our church, and they were some of our most trusted and treasured friends. And it was such an honor to hear from her almost 50 years after being her pastor. She's 93 now. She's the baby. Her sister is 95. Her husband, Jesse, is gone to heaven. I preached his funeral just a few years ago. Her kids live far away, and she lives alone. And she just survived a serious illness, and it, and it left her down and discouraged. And what do you say to someone who is in a situation where you know it's not going to get much better. She's not going to get younger. Once a page has been torn from the calendar, it, it can't be replaced. Her husband won't be returning. And her declining health, most likely at her age, will continue its downward path. So what, what can you say? You can talk in theory. You can talk in theological terms. You can explore deep truths and unknown mysteries. I like to keep it simple and real and scriptural and Christ-centered. Here's all I know. My life and your life and Esther's life is in God's hands. From cradle to coffin, from the first breath to the last. And though life can be full of mystery and, and meanness, God is good. And God is real and God is unchanging. And if life is impossible, all things are possible with him. If death is imminent, it is swallowed up in victory. All because of Jesus. God didn't send platitudes. He sent a person. He didn't send a celebrity. He sent a savior. God didn't send an advisor. He sent one with authority. In fact, all authority in heaven and on earth. So that's what I have to say, Jesus. That's really all I have to say, Jesus. That's all I need to say, <laughs> Jesus. And if you're a believer, you know what I'm talking about.